Hello guys, I have just received information that the first samples of replicas of Apple AirPods Pro has arrived in one of the Shenzhen's local markets. They seem to have been pretty busy with the production of these AirPods. They come just like that, straight from the factory, without boxes. Let's get one sample and go to review it. Here we go, this is one of the first samples AirPods Pro replica in China. Let's unwrap them as we can't make unboxing today. First of all, these AirPods are made to look identical on size as the original Apple AirPods Pro. Even the inscriptions on them are the same as the original AirPods Pro. Unfortunately, the blue blinking lights are back once again and this is just one of the differences compared to the original AirPods. The first generation of AirPods were easier to make and copy. However, AirPods Pro are much more complex, so I don't think so they will invest so much in this model to make it look 100% identical. It's just because they will become so much expensive, so their price will be close to the original Apple AirPods Pro. This model is much more expensive compared to the first generation replicas. This one starts from $40. For this price you can get decent quality headphones from many other manufacturers, making this one a bit ridiculous. Let's first test them with an Android phone and see what features they have. On Android phones they connect as a standard Bluetooth device, with a name of course AirPods Pro. So guys, they have the same features as the previous generation AirPods, but in the shape of the AirPods Pro. Double tap will change the song, one tap is a pause and one tap and keep pressing for about 3 seconds will activate the Google Assistant. They can also work independently, you can use only the left or only the right when the other is inside the charging box. One more feature which is missing from the original AirPods Pro is the wireless charging. On Android phones you can also see the battery percentage. Now let's test them with the iPhone and see what are the differences. Guys, as you can see this is pretty amazing, they are very responsive and act as an original Apple AirPods Pro. Of course my mean is only about the connection with the iPhone. I have to mention that this was possible only after the update to the iOS 13.2, which brings support of AirPods Pro. This makes me think that they use some kind of chip technology from the original AirPods Pro, only this itself is a pretty big achievement. However, with that ends all the similarities with the original AirPods Pro, there is no active noise cancellation or even something close to that. As a matter of fact, these are one of the worst sound quality earphones I have ever experienced. All 40 bucks seem to have gone for making them look similar to the original design, everything else is a disaster. But to find out more about this we have to look inside this replica, so let's open them and see what kind of high-end technology is hiding inside. I am pretty sure you will be amazed. Say hello to the Robopod Pro. First of all, I have to say these silicon tips are pretty easy to fall out. One more reason you should not buy these earphones, you might end in the hospital with the silicon tips stuck inside your ear. The folks from iFixit were complaining about how the Apple's AirPods Pro are impossible to repair. Let's see how repairable are these replicas. As you can see there is no glue to stick the two parts of the earphone together. They open pretty easily, which means they are not water resistant, however this is their smallest problem. Guys, check out my new tweezers, they make me look very professional. I bet iFixit will want one after they watch my video. Now you are starting to get an idea of the internal parts, for sure they look very different than the Apple's AirPods Pro. This small yellow thing is the battery. Here is a comparison with the original Apple AirPods Pro parts. I think the difference speaks for itself. Even though the battery looks bigger than the original, it can deliver playtime for about 1.5 hours. Now check out this solution for the speaker. The speaker is attached to the earphone through a small but very powerful magnet. This simple design allows easy replacement of the speaker. 
Now let's see if I can put all the parts back together and if the air phone will work again properly. And yes, it was successful, everything is working properly. iFixit gives zero score for repairment of the original AirPods Pro. I give to this replica score 10 of 10. You can easily replace every part without damaging the earphones. That's it guys, I think you should never buy these earphones. The sound quality is terrible, they are just made to look like the original, but nothing more than that. Thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Don't be shy, stick around and I'll see you soon.